guys so I wanted to share with you my Botox journey I think it's really important to go to a reputable place I have a doctor here that's going to administer the Botox for me fully trained fully licensed hi hi this is Dr. Amaji Lander and he's going to administer my Botox any last tips just relax and you're in good hands so I'm going to walk you through each step and I'm going to tell you the before and after, tell you the highs and lows and uh, yeah, I'm going to get this Botox done. not going to make oh, you look 10 years younger. But will, will it get rid of these lines yeah, that I've exactly. got? Yeah, exactly. Does that make sense? It still doesn't make sense. You know when they say prevention better than cure? Mm -hmm. Botox is that. Botox is to prevent you getting those lines. It'll get rid of your lines, but it's not going to turn those lines into permanent lines. Oh, because you've got a barrier. Yeah, you've got the barrier. Because you're not pulling those faces anymore. But you know if you're constantly frowning, mm -hmm. if you're constantly frowning, when you're in your 60s, you're going to have a frown line. Okay, just pull your head back. And just keep hair out, keep the area sterile. Okay, I'll just show. And then, just for safety reasons, we have the sticker. So, if, oh. obviously, if we have the batch number sticker recorded, we know... What do you mean they don't do it because of complications? Because they have them, or in case they have them? In case they have them, people the fear, the reason why people are worried about Botox... Because they can't retrace it. Or they fear something's going to go wrong. But we eliminate all the fear by making sure everything's well disinfected and clean. Mm -hmm. and we also record the batch number so that if there is any issues, we can go straight to the batch number. Wow. So proper... Quality, quality control. Quality, yeah, quality control is as low. It's like Harley Street. Oh, is it? Yeah. Harley Street grade. Yeah, Harley Street grade stuff. And obviously, if there's any issues, we always can resort back to where we found it. You know, the rather source. than the source. Does that make sense? Wicked. Do you need to do... I do markings, so... We inject them in the right place. We want to split your face from front face and side face. Mm -hmm.
spreading toxin where it's not needed. Uh-huh. Just wrinkle again. Yeah, that's fine. Just raise your eyebrows again. Yeah, I think I don't need to do that third spot. Okay. And then turn towards me. To wrinkle up, wrinkle up. And obviously, if when it comes to actually like, it probably just sound more attractive if you said, oh, I trained in London, Hertfordshire, essentially, Stephen. That's fine. So that's up before I had done. How was that? How did you find it? Oh my god. I was re filming my reaction. Yeah. Didn't flinch. That's good. So I've got 40, so... So what we do, we'll pinch this part now because we don't want any spread to your eyelid. And obviously, if you want someone injecting your face, you want someone that touches and holds needles every day, and works with the face every day. Like even a general, even a doctor. Your I hands are so steady. That hurt yeah. more. That did, by the way. Did it? Yeah. Because okay. more mass there, isn't there? Yeah. That's the treatment complete. I was about to remove the pencil lines, the markings, and I got told off because this is an aseptic environment and uh, Dr. Landis said that I must not use my dirty hands on my face. So he's using, what are you? Antiseptic. Antiseptic wipe Liquid, to clear yeah. off the pencil markings. So I know I've got makeup on, but my forehead was completely clear. And it's to prevent any infections. To prevent infection. This is the difference, guys, by going to an actual doctor, an actual professional who is licensed and can be trusted with such things as needles because this is your health and this is just a little disclaimer I've chosen to do this of my own free will you don't have to get Botox I'm not promoting for you to get Botox but it's something I wanted to try and I thought I'd give you any tips and tricks I'm learning from an ultimate professional So the doctor has just applied some anti-bruising cream and this will help prevent any bruising from redness the redness and swelling. Redness and swelling. There we go. 
So if you've had Botox before and these steps weren't taken, you need to stop <laughs> and you need to rethink your Botox situation. I'll update you with some results in a little while. I'll probably do a couple of hours check up with you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would film very quickly a um, sort of update on how I'm feeling after the Botox. So there is no scarring, no um, bruising. In fact, I haven't even got a filter or anything on and my forehead seems smoother. Now, um, I was told by the doctor that it takes about four days for the results to be shown and two weeks for the full effect and it should last for six months. Um, so yeah, I wanted to check back in with you guys. Um, absolutely no irritation. I can feel something happening because I was told that the um, space of the Botox will spread at least one centimeter in 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 width. So not to get too technical, but um, but yeah, I thought I would check back with you. I might do a check back at the end of the night, although it is about eight o'clock. I think I'll check back in the morning with you for this vlog. And um, yeah, really pleased. I'm really glad I went to somebody that is. First of all, a dentist, a doctor, um, fully licensed, studied in London for this course to do specialised Botox. I wouldn't trust my face with anybody else other than a professional um, who who is fully trained in you know using syringes, um, providing anaesthesia. You know, it's it's a big deal. Your face can get botched. <laughs> Anyway, I shall check back with you guys either later or in the morning. Today is day four and these are my results. My skin feels smoother, my pores are actually tighter and I can wear makeup now. I did stay away from makeup as much as possible around my forehead uh, just to give my skin and the Botox some chance to sort of get to know each other. So I shall go ahead and um, check in with you tomorrow. Bye.